Hello everyone and welcome to another Webflow inspired Elementor tutorial. And today we are going to be making something really cool. I think it's pretty modern and I've seen it done on multiple Webflow websites and I was wondering if we can achieve the same results in Elementor. And I think we can to some extent. I have not gone too deep into it, but I think this is pretty useful. So basically we are adding images and links inside a heading. We are going to be using custom CSS. If you do not have Elementor Pro, you can still do that and watch this video here to see how you can do that. So let's get into it. All right. So this is what we have as a base. And if you're wondering how I achieved this, like kind of gradient luminous heading. I will have the code for this in the description below as it will be all the code that I'm going to be using in this video. So let's get started. Obviously we have to go to our content and this is where we are going to be doing most of the work and obviously in the custom CSS. But let's put the basis of our objects. Let's call them like that. So I have here code and basically this is a code I created last night. I was working on my own website and I was like, okay, probably people will be interested in this. We're going to start with an image right inside this heading. So I'm going to be copying this code and I am going to add it in here. So I will add this after images because it makes more sense, obviously. And yes, this is is huge but don't worry uh, we are going to be styling this with obviously with CSS so I will delete this link because that's not what we want and I'm going to be going to my media library and I'm going to be choosing one of these images and GIFs because we can add GIFs as well and I think we can add videos but I would rather not add videos and I'm going to start let's start with an image okay I like this image so I'm going to change the size because it's it's huge I'm going cha to change the size to let's say 220 scale it and copy the URL and let's go back into our code and I'm going to add the source of the link here and we have an image already and it's looking weird, but don't you worry. We are going to now style it with CSS. Let me just copy the CSS and I will explain to you what you need to change. Okay, let's go to CSS, custom CSS, and I'm going to add here our CSS and voila it is already looking so much better and we can also change the height to be taller basically like this let's see how it looks and it's looking good what i want to do though is add some margin okay so basically what you will have to change will be the width and height and obviously the margins and that's about it the border radius if you don't want it that rounded and you could change it to let's say 0.5 Although it doesn't look that good, I think the best around it to one. I, I honestly like it too. Two it looks really good, especially with this font. But my main concern is how this looks on different devices. And obviously the font needs to be adjusted, which I did not do. I think we can go a little bit. So what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna add media query so you see and have the code for that. Okay, so I have added media query for this specific image and I reduced the height to 50. And if you reduce, reduce it to 40, you see that it takes effect. You can also reduce the width, let's say to 130. If you like it, let's play around a little bit. I think it looks okay. So I'm going to be adding another media query. So I'm going to copy and paste this and I'm going to add a media query. Let's just have this nicely aligned. So I'm going to add a media query to mobile. So 360, 360. This will take effect up to 360 pixels. Okay. First of all, let's change the font size. Let's make it a bit smaller. Let's see how it looks. And let's play a little bit with the CSS. So height, it's way too, too high. 30, 
might be good and let's reduce a little bit the width to 120 anyway we are still going to be playing with this after we have added our link so as you can see this works as well on mobile or it's responsive if you add media queries and i highly recommend that you do so let's see how it looks let's add the media query to be valid up to 460 and i think it's much better makes more sense and from here it goes bigger obviously we would have to adjust the text but all right let's we're gonna play with this uh, more once we are done with the other face so what i'm gonna do is going i'm going to add a link so i'm going to copy the link code I am adding it here and I made this in Figma and if you want to know how I did this I will probably make a short because it's pretty simple but it's so cool you don't have to buy it so what we will have here as a link to click on is as you can see if you hover over the little flower star thing and about me text it looks like it's clickable right so that's going to be our link. I am going to add the CSS for this and I'm going to actually add it here because media queries usually sit at the bottom of all the CSS. So I'm going to add it here. And as you can see, it is already looking differently, right? So I want to, to transform this font to a lowercase. So I'm going to say text transform, here it is. And let's call it lowercase. And voila! Yes, obviously it needs to be styled and I'm going to first add the link to where we want this to go and let's say dribble. So I'm going to copy the link and I'm going to be adding it. It can be also an internal link. It is up to you, obviously. But this is where you would change or add your link. Okay, let's see if this works and we want this obviously to open in a new page so what i'm gonna do uh, i will add this here target blank and let's go and see again and it opens in a new page and voila it's triple and obviously as i said we can do the same thing for our internal links but we if we don't want this to open in a new page obviously just delete the target underscore blank and you're good to go let's see how this looks on mobile not very good so let's adjust it and as a bonus before we go and edit our media queries i want this little flower to rotate infinitely so i'm going to be adding right here the code for that and you can make it go faster which i don't recommend <laughs> or this i don't recommend it but you can go as low as you want as long as it moves uh, it's good okay so what i'm gonna do is i'm going to wrap the about me in a border so it looks like it's clickable As you can see, this is what we can achieve and we can even give it a hover effect or hover state or you can add so many things to this to make it look like it actually is clickable. And obviously you can only do that with CSS in this case because we have so much CSS here and there's no other way. You so let's see how it looks on tablet. I think this is okay. Obviously, we need to change the size of the lid flower. So I'm gonna copy and paste here the class. Oops. And I'm going to say, copy and paste this. Way too big, obviously. And I think that's okay. I don't think we need the height. And let's see it on tablet. Obviously this can be reduced as well. I'm going to copy this and I'm going to change the font size as well. Small, maybe this and the little flower. I'm going to copy and paste it here and let's see, too small, 
30. That's about it. Obviously you can do so much more and what I want to do is, oh, it's gonna look weird, but I want to add a gift. So I am going to copy this portion and add it after inside text. And we are going to change this with an image that we have in our media library, which is, let's go with this one. I'm going to just copy the link. I'm gonna bring it in here and I'm going to replace it right here. I mean, how cool is this, right? But as you can see, there's so much you can do with just some CSS. And I'm gonna add another one just for the fun of it because honestly, I love this. And I am going to copy again. And I'm gonna copy this code and I'm going to add it here. And I'm gonna add another GIF because these are so, so cool. And I'm going to paste this one here and it goes right in side here. <laughs> How cool is this, guys? Really, seriously, how cool. And there you have it. They are pretty resp responsive and obviously you can adjust it according to your use case. Obviously you wouldn't have this many things added to your heading because they would distract, but maybe one or two should be enough. And I think this is pretty cool. And let's have a look. And this is how it looks. How cool is this? I think it's really cool. If you'd like to see what else you can build with Elementor, watch this playlist here or here. And if you have gotten any value out of this video, please consider subscribing, liking and sharing this video. And I'll see you next time.